Um, I'm not done yet. <laughs> My model is not working. Wait, um, I definitely didn't get distracted or anything. Your phone is not connected to Wi-Fi. Why is the phone not connected to the Wi-Fi? Uh oh. And how about now? Okay, now it's connected to the Wi-Fi. There we go. Hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> Little bit of a panic. <laughs> Um, let me put everything on the right thing. There we go. I totally did not. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Today, we're playing a little bit of Minecraft. Which will be like, it will be a relaxing stream. I'm in pain right now. <laughs> I have have a heart. That is definitely interesting. But, um... Okay, I need to go to the right volume section, change some, oh, it's probably because of, there we go. It's there, up this a tiny bit, okay, there we go, and high forward, how are you doing? Welcome, we already have 12 iron, why does my thing keep freezing up? Uh oh. My model keeps freezing up, that's odd. Let me check if it still has connection or something like that. You okay, me? I, um... I got stabbed a few thousand times today. This is really odd, my thing doesn't want to make a connection. What is going on? Okay, let's reset the phone. I kind of don't want to go back to, uh... What do you call that? The webcam anymore. What? Exactly, I got stepped a few thousand times today. <laughs> I uh, got my tattoo, my second tattoo I got done today. Come on, open that. This is why I don't like iPhone. I can't easily open my, what do you call that stuff? You know that you can restart apps? You have to swipe up. For some reason, I have to swipe up a hundred times before it finally works. There we go. Do I move it again? Yes, I move it again. <laughs> um, let's see, the music's a little bit on the loud side, so I'll lower that. Okay. Um, so that's all working now, hopefully. Hopefully it stays working. And reset. There we go, okay. Uh, let's see, I already prepared it. So there we go, my second tattoo. It is a Depresso and an Eevee. Android. This is not an Android. That's the worst. <laughs> well, I'm not a huge Apple fan. But I used to have an Apple phone. But nowadays I don't have an Apple. Well, I technically still do have an Apple phone. But that's just for the face tracking. Because Apple does have an amazing face tracking. A Power Eevee? That's a plushy Eevee. It's a plushy being ridden by the Presso with a sword. <laughs> I'm, I really love it. It looks so good. And today, it seems like a face tracking does not want to work. I kind of do not want to go back to the webcam because the webcam is so awful. Uh, point... 2.6, I think it was. There we go, I have to restart the app again. So I have to swipe up, there we go. Do the phone on and off? I probably should try that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to turn the phone on and off. It's been a while since I've turned this phone on and off. I still have it in a weird configuration. With that, it's in um, oh my microphone stand. For those who haven't seen, how do I turn this phone off? Yeah, this is the off button. I'm holding the off button. It does not want to turn off. That's an interesting one. Something is really wrong with the phone. Okay, hard reset. That was the volume buttons. And the off button. There we go. 
Slide for power off. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, I wait on that. Um, I'm move. I'm gonna just put this on that, that on that. That way, I can just pass out the game, and the game will still keep going. Um, but yeah. So that's the tattoo. For those who haven't seen the first tattoo, I might have that one somewhere. I just need to look where. <laughs> I now realize I probably should show that one too. Which, that was when I did the ring. That was the proposal. Did I get that image before or after? No, that was the idea of it. Then I have the photo somewhere else. I probably have the photo on Discord. I sent it to... I think... Mini might be the closest one that I sent it to. Yeah, there. Boop, boop. Save. Yeah, for those who haven't seen it or don't know the second tattoo, or the first tattoo. No, not that there. Browse. There we go. A little bit big, but there. I'm the left one. I'm on the left. <laughs> there she's on the right. This is a little bit more robust and strong. Mine is more uh, fluent lines, things like that. This was when we just had them done, so it's a little bit more red. It's the same with my other tattoo. It's a like this tattoo that I have on my leg right now. It's also a little bit more red. Okay, there we go. The phone is starting up. Uh, yeah, that's the coupled tattoo. <laughs> now, I might even, while I'm waiting on the phone, have an image of my setup. Okay, phone is starting up. I might as well not have that one. Because <coughs> I did have a PC reset. Not too recently, but definitely after. Yeah. I will I'll go happy to see you. I'm also happy to see all of you. Uh, allow device. Facial mocap. It says connected. Let's hope it stays connected this time. Um, I'm going to check one person because I think I might have sent it to them. Where is Moon? Moon, 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 Moon Meadow there. Because Moon Meadow and I share a lot of streaming stuff. So I probably... Um... Send her the photo of the. It's the wedding stuff. Waffle that I got a thousand subs. That also was really exciting. Uh, statistics. Uh, that's a lot of stuff for the commission that I have made. Huh? We said more images than I thought to each other. <laughs> okay, no, I don't have that image anymore. But yeah, basically what I have done is... I have the phone and two zip ties mounted on the microphone. And it crashed again. Don't know what's going on today. Let me go in the settings. Optimize for streaming is on. Destination IP default, yes. Display setting smooth motion. That all seems to be good. It might be that the internet just isn't stable enough. Which I've had a few internet problems. But not with my PC. Just with my own phone. Or is it the face tracking software? Okay, there. <laughs> I'm going to reset it one more time and uh, otherwise it's over. I'm going to switch to the webcam. 
which is awful quality. At least, webcam itself isn't awful quality. Um, but the problem with it is iPhone has really good facial tracking due to its uh, camera that they built in with laser tech. I, I don't know exactly how it works, but infrared technology. Oh yeah, I was working on that. I still need to find it. Um, is there no um, P2P open in the software? Like a local IP connection between the two, kind of like Bluetooth. There is, because it does work through the local IP. So I just need a local IP of my phone that I fill in in the software in Finyan that I use. But the problem is the connection between the phone and the router isn't good right now. Because for some reason the router keeps screwing up, I guess. Well, my... What is he doing up there? How am I supposed to get up there now? <laughs> okay. Um, interesting. Interesting, interesting. How am I going to do that? Oh, wait, I have 61 scaffolding. Easy. Eat. You mean eat the trader? I did eat today, right before stream. Hello there. You have some awful trades again. But I kind of don't want to fight you because I only have half a heart. And those guys just spit once on me and I'm dead. Oh, that's what I was scared of. I need to fix that. I know how I'm going to fix that. I just need to fix that. And I'm back in the vi I Last time I slept in the village. I don't know what's going on today. I feel laggy as well. Oh, my healthy. Oh. Oops. <laughs> oh. I get it now. I'm gonna go overland, mostly. Okay, but things we're gonna do today is I'm gonna build a tower out of that. I think I'm gonna make it a Sauron tower from Lord of the Rings. So I'm just gonna make, but then red instead of blue. I think it's gray or black normally. But red, and I'm gonna then build an eye on top of it. I just have to put buttons on everything. Like on the top side of everything. Either buttons or... Pressure plates, which I'll probably do buttons. Because golem mobs in general can't spawn on buttons. And that's what I probably did wrong there because I don't have the buttons and I didn't make it big enough. So yeah, we're going to work on the tower. I probably want to work on the bridge as well, the bridge that leads to the house. And maybe make an elevator. And those are my two missions, at least for today. Well, the, the Golem Tower is the main mission. If we have enough time and I feel energy for it, then the bridge will be the second mission. Unless something happens and I just can't finish it. <laughs> but yeah. In. I am going to need a good amount of wood for the buttons. For the buttons alone. Let's see what I have in here. I have one whole wood. 45 books. Thank you too. Um, one whole iron block. Nice. Uh, sure, I'll take you with me. The rest is not that important. I keep pressing shift to run. It's console to run. And if I have time and I find the fix for it, I might finish the chicken farm as well. I need two one tick impulses. Which I don't know how I am going to recreate. Hmm. 
might have an idea. But I might either extend it. Well, I could probably make it so it doesn't extend it. There we go. We get the stuff. You have time. You need to stream for eight hours to make it that way. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Maybe I have something planned. Oh, no. I know where that shoe went. I don't really see anything bubbling. I have to check anyway. Yep. I just didn't render it. Ooh, obsidian. Some with planks, which I need. Some cobblestone. What about my golden golden suits are here? There we go. And some cacti. I probably should have swam here first. But that's what you would do if you know what you're doing. Like not drowning. Okay. First of all, fix the golem issue. Do I have the buttons for that? I probably have the buttons for that. There we go. Now I have buttons. Uh, because I, yeah, I already got the food back because I died. It should be just right over here. Oh, that's a problem. It needs to be over here. Two out. Okay, that's good to know because that means that I have to redecorate the island or redo the island because it's bigger than I thought. Hey there, Mr. Iron Golem. Can you get in there, please? And thank you. I am not going to have enough buttons. Not even close. Do I have wood laying around? I might have wood laying around in the chests. So remember getting a lot of wood. I'm not good with scaffolding. I like it. It's good for building. But I'm awful with it. And I probably die by it. Boop, 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 boop. Um, oh, this block. There. I need 14 left. Okay. That's okay. I'm gonna need all of them anyways. I need later on more buttons for the top side. Oop. Ooh, more scaffolding. Ah, oh, the nostalgic music, I love it. <coughs> I would definitely like to do a uh, longer stream when I hit 1500. That's at the very least a goal. Why am I using a pickaxe there? Most theoretic theoretically he shouldn't even be able to spawn here just for safety I still place the buttons. There we go. Now he shouldn't spawn on top of here anymore. Just to be sure, I also actually need to remove that whole bridge. I kept it there originally because of the zombie. There you go. And this way we also get our iron because I keep being here. Boop, boop. I probably should do it the other way around. There we go. And I can just let it all fall. question is, am I gonna need more bridges at some point? Because I might, if I want to have a cow farm, I could do that. Have more bridges. Like this. For them to go up.
But we'll see when we come there. Netherrack is nice because it breaks pretty fast. And it falls in the water so I can scoop it up all soon. That was actually nice. Boop, boop, boop. It's just a long process mining it all off. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. It, it was pretty funny at the, the two uh, artist studio because the two artists were really nice. He's a really fun guy. Uh, I actually invited him to the wedding as well. <laughs> but um, originally he thought. Like, when I got my first two done, I was sitting there pretty relaxed. No. My pickaxe broke. I didn't even pay attention to that. Um, but yeah, I was sitting there. My first tattoo, no problem. I was the one that actually went first. And then she went after me. Because I don't know exactly why anymore. There was a reason why Dashi went second and I went first. Because originally we said that Dashi would go first. So I could see how it went. But... Oh, yeah. Um, the two artists said that I had pretty nice skin, so it's easier to tattoo me. So that I can... Uh, so my kid skin can settle, because my skin probably would get pretty red. Which I you could see in the photo, my skin gets pretty red after a tattoo. But the funny part is, I was just sitting there, my first tattoo ever, just relaxed. He was just tattooing me. And both Deshi and the two others were pretty impressed that I was, in, you know, in a lot of pain. Which I wasn't. <laughs> and then it was Deshi's turn. And um, for his first tattoo, it was just the dragon. And the second tattoo was actually where the dragon was as well. So he got a second tattoo near the dragon. But the first tattoo, he started cursing. <laughs> he was in pain. I have some videos about that. Um, but then, we went back for his second tattoo. Which were clouds and things like that. And something with the airplane and... Um, a bit of a sentimental, sentimental tell you. Sent Sentimental value text. And um, because the first tattoo didn't fully heal yet, he was cursing a lot. He was in a lot of pain, like an actual lot of pain. Multiple breaks um, and things like that. Because he just couldn't take it. But they were talking, the Deshi and the two artists, because Deshi's skin is really rough and tough, and my skin is pretty, well, Loose and soft and nice. <laughs> um, I have pretty feminine skin. Then, uh, but then they were talking. And the two others said, yeah, you know, when he gets his leg done, because I actually talked about getting my leg done when Deshi was here. And originally it would have been also when Deshi was here, but I, then I got a lung infection and you can't, you know, have a tattoo when you're on antibiotics. So, um, yeah. Then she kept telling me, oh yeah, it's gonna hurt a lot. He's gonna, told me that it's gonna hurt and it's not gonna be fun and you'll be in pain. Just, you know, trying to make me a little bit scared. Well, not scared specifically because I wouldn't be scared of it, but, you know. And then I finally sat there. At tattoo artist, and he started tattooing. I was like, "Is that all? I can fall asleep with this." <laughs> it was less worse for me on the leg. Halfway through, um, Deshi actually woke up because he was asleep because he had to go to work. Um, when the tattoo was almost done, I called Deshi really quickly uh, because he just woke up and um, showed him the video of me being tattooed. And just sitting there, relaxing, talking with the tattoo artist. And um, I'll probably hear tonight how he thinks about it. That I wasn't in pain.
This is going to be an interesting build. Because I can't make it a circle now, I think of it. Not with that top. How am I going to fix that? That is generally a hard question. How am I going to fix this? If I'm making it a circle, then I have to make a circle out of these dimensions. Which probably would become pretty big. Let me check. I'm kind of curious. Uh, yeah, that is about the... And... Donny first? Hi, welcome! How are you doing today? Um... Let's see, so the length would be... Yeah, this could work. It's a little bit close to the house. It's closer than I like, but... I'm not going to rebuild all of this. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Um. Oh, wait. I made a mistake. I forgot to build these. There. It's going to be like this. I can work with this. Yes, um, Dao Nifers. Dao Nifers. I hope I pronounced this. I hope I pronounced it right this time. <laughs> You're doing good. I'm happy to. I, uh, I'm happy to hear that. Words today are not my thing. <laughs> it's probably because I've already been talking a lot. It's probably because I've been talking a lot of Dutch. I need a new pickaxe. But yeah. Um, and the funny part is, I, I actually love this story. The tattoo artist that I went to got so inspired by Dashes in my story on the marriage that the tattoo artist actually decided to propose to his girlfriend as well. Which I'm really, really happy for. <laughs> so now he's also planning a wedding. Which is really, really cute, and I'm happy for them. They're really cute together. Oh, oh, okay, that... This case just was the internet la lagging behind a little bit, which is fine. That can happen. Uh, pick three items. Three. That is a loud scooter. If it is a scooter. It must be, right? Um, what do I need again? Sticks! Why could I not think of sticks? Very loud, yeah. Which, they're not allowed to drive here, to be fair. Um, I live near a bike lane. Where scooters technically aren't allowed to drive. They still do it. And, yeah. You can get a pretty hefty ticket with it. I think it was... Uh, if it's your first offense, it's 150 bucks. After that, it's 220 bucks. And if you're a repeat offender, they just take your scooter. Something like that it was. I need to know that stuff because I used to have a scooter. I don't anymore because I have a car now. And I don't want a fine of 150. Yeah. Breaking the law is expensive. I also got a ticket from Germany. <laughs> um, that was a while back. I was visiting a friend in Germany. Which all, you know, good and fun. But apparently, you are only allowed to park on in a specific way on the side of the road. Which I didn't know. But all cars always have to look the same way which is the way with the street so if you you know drive on the right side 
you're only allowed to park on the right side. I say that and I do it with my right hand to the left side, which is weird, but you're only allowed to park on the closest side that you are with your car. Otherwise you have to cross over and that's illegal. And that's why they ticketed you if you are on the wrong way, if your car is standing the wrong way. Because they know that you then have crossed it and that's apparently illegal. This thing is going to be oval. I mean, actually, it doesn't have to be oval. I can still work with it. I just make it a little bit higher. That's a good one. I just need to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that I also have to... Wait, is that with this one or without this one? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. That's BS, honestly. It is. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I did it Stiff. nicely on the right spot. Huh. Uh, I'm going to build this all on the same height as here. And so the idea is going to be, I'm kind of making a bowl. So underneath here, it will kind of go like that. Same over here, same over there. So this mop farmer will be more of a sphere. But yeah, um, the nice part about it is they saw I had a Dutch license and stuff like that. And they saw I also didn't have any tickets before that one. <laughs> now I do have a few tickets on my name. Oops. I'm a lawbreaker. But um, I'm going to break this button here just so my mind knows. Okay, up here. There we go. Um, yeah, how am I going to do this? I probably should already make it on height then. Which is going to be three higher. Maybe four higher. Be safe. Which will be one, two, three, four. Actually, five, because the golems are three. So, like this. Eh, if we're doing it, let's do six then. So, I need to remove all that. And then remake it with this height. <laughs> oh. I mean, I don't have to do it with the sides, like... This is gonna be the half of it. Uh, let's see, how long is this? One, two, three, four, five, six... That's not gonna be long enough. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight... To the half. So this needs to be eight. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I already have to start the descent on the ball. Oh, I did not think this through. Um, wait, no, this is only the half. So now I can add another eight because of the other part. So this is the halfway point. Let me mark that with a stone block. Right? Yeah. This is going to be the halfway point. And then I can have another eight because of this one. And then another. Yeah, okay, I'll make that. I'll make that. Um, I'm just going to need to see how I'm going to make that. Because this one is not really that necessary. I miscalculated from here. I had to calculate from here. Which is going to make it way, way longer. just need to count way, way more. Which might be easier if I'm going to do it like this. And I should come out right above that first block. And I did. So now all I need to do is build this in. And then I know where to start with the backside. 
But I'm not gonna have another netherrack for that. So we do need to go on a mining excursion. Oop. I'll probably do it like this. Boop, and we're out. Oh, don't break that one, that's the middle point. Break this one, this is our way up. Grab the scaffolding and... There we go. Might also be smart if I take the way down. Now I'm gonna need a lot more netherrack. Again. Which is gonna be an interesting process. Originally I was thinking maybe I should make the enchantment room so I can actually enchant my tools, but I don't think I'm gonna have time for that. I just got a message from Dashi. Um <laughs> He's working construction and somebody got it's so muddy. Uh, and now they accidentally got the um, the lift, the elevator, which is basically just a machine that goes up, and it can pe bring people up and stuff like that. Like it's not normal elevator; it's a machine elevator. They got it stuck in the mud. They can't get it out. <laughs> um, I'm curious on how they're gonna solve that. Cause I would have no clue how to solve something like that. Like with a car, I would probably just, you know, throw a few planks underneath my car and hope it will work. Or maybe use rope. Good luck, yes. We're back here. Um, I know I made somewhere here a hole. Ow, ow. I think it was, yeah, over here. At least inside of here I can die. Worst case, if I die, then I can die in here because then I'll lose my stuff. I prefer not to die, however. That fire was on for a long time. That was on for a long, long time. Instantly, I'm naggy again. The game just doesn't like me. <laughs> oh, I have one whole cooked steak. I really should make some more. Uh, I have coal, right? I have more than enough coal. I'm not even going to count how much I need. I'm going to just put what I need to in. All I need is... I miss one cobblestone and my pickaxe is in the nether. Fine, I'll do it this way. There we go. That's where all the ingredients I need. That way I have put in the nether. And I'll just cook it when I'm in the nether and stuff like that. Make a crafting table with this one. Get the extra cobblestone with this one. And use the, well, coal to cook the meat. In. Whoop. How's it going with the sugar cane farm? Eh, 24. I still should make a mod pack for streaming. There is so much stuff that I still want to do, but I keep forgetting to do it. Some of it is easy work, like the mod pack is just gonna be really easy work. It's just selecting the mods that I need. And I'm done. Uh, furthermore... Waffle is a little bit of a thingy, because I have a hard time writing. Writing it out like... What I try. What I want to try to use. Oop. But I'll probably ask one of my friends for that. Just explain to her what I want and hopefully she knows how to write it down. Oh, I already had a crafting table. I have too much items. I'm gonna make it a double craft. There's no use for a double crafting table. And I already had enough. Mod pack? Yeah, basically, um, Twitch integration and NEI, not enough items. 
some easy stuff from that. Just a little bit of quality of life. Maybe even inventory tweaks so I can easily just sort things. Um, I'm gonna need to sacrifice some stuff. Don't need you, don't need you. Uh, I can get quartz. Hey, Res. Hey, buddy, what's wrong? Oh, you don't get enough colors? You got colored the whole time. And the mod you suggested? Yes, the mod you suggested. Those are really, like, having the mod pack itself will be nice, but I'm a little bit on the lazy side. Also a bit on the busy side, that's the thing. Because currently I'm also... Uh, EB server is taking up to the M5M server. So I'm helping a lot with that as well. Uh, if you're really forgetful, so that's lazy. I just need your version. 124. So 1.20.4. And sure, go ahead. There we go. Oh, really? Okay, fine. He wants me to open the door. Oh. Oh, I need to take a shower after this. <laughs> Not because I think or anything, but that that too, like, I had that in plastic wrap. Because the tattoo artist said, you know, second skin is not going to work really well right now. Again. Hit by lava. Oh, oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Wait, don't tell me I'm going to die again. How? Oh, half a heart. I can live with half a heart. Damn, is the lava more potent in the nether? What I wanted to do was that, so I can actually... This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, I feel like it wasn't this bad in... Um... Okay, we're gonna make a turn. There's gonna be too much lava there. We're gonna turn over here. Wait, how big is it? One, two, three, four. There we go. Lava floats faster than that. Yes. I knew that, but... Maybe they buffed it, like you said. I don't know. The burn time, yeah. But I don't know if that's nether related or if that's just... Minecraft related. Oh, we found gold. <laughs> actually, I haven't seen the new gold ore in the nether. Or actually mined it. I've seen it, but not mined it. It just gives a few nuggets. Eh. Not the worst, I guess. Uh, I can do without the 8 cobblestone and without that. I probably should have, you know, cleaned my inventory before I went on an excursion to get more netherite. No. We'll learn as we do. Even though I don't really learn from it. Stuff like this. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I'm gonna guess that that's gonna be enough netherrack. Yeah, I'm at 60. Oh, before I forget. Uh, I don't need the eye. Or the single torch. Remove the eye, remove the single torch, remove the poppy flower. There we go. And 
back home we go. I didn't clean my inventory. I'll probably just place the blocks that I need that I can place. And then I'll go back here. Who knows, maybe we find enough netherite. That's a nice part if you have something like this. You can also instantly go for a farm. There we go. Cows. And hop. Oh. And then I'll feel it again. That's why it reminded me. Uh, when I was younger, I used to eat a lot of white bread. But when I got older, I just switched to brown bread because it's more healthy and stuff like that. I now, for the first time in years, ate white bread again. Bad decision. Uh, my body doesn't like it anymore. <laughs> and it's telling me that. That it did not like that I ate the right bread. Because I feel a little bit more bloated. I feel more well, gassy. Which is really annoying. Uh, you and you there. You, you. Wait, I, I think the equipment time with armor. Oh well. Details. Oh wait, yeah, there's one more ore over here. No, sadly it's yes. <laughs> it's annoying. But it's okay. I'll I'll live through it. Like I said, it's just a bit more gas, a little bit more bloated. And I know not to eat white bread anymore. There we go. And... Yeah, that door can stay open. I made it so mobs can't spawn here, so... With all the torches and things like that. So I don't have to worry about mobs. That's why I like having the Sky Islands. I don't have to worry about them. Don't have to worry about zombies, creepers, skeletons. Am I using the normal Minecraft launcher? For normal Minecraft, yes. But when I... I can also use the curse launcher. Because I have curse installed as well. Which makes it so much easier to make mod packs. Because that's where I make most of my mod packs in. The nice part about it is you can just... Select the mods you want. And be done with it. Uh, up until here it needs to be. Oop. Alright, I'll use um, multi MC to quickly install force or fabric microfiche. Sounds good. Um, okay, the smartest idea. Might just be to just say, okay, I'm gonna see how this over here is gonna look. So that means I'm going to have to start here. There we go. One, two, one. And now all we have to do is connect to that one. That way I can at least look a little bit at how it looks. Or I can see a little bit how it looks. Four. Oop. 
Boop. Hey. I made a mistake somewhere. Oh, yeah, I did. Over here. Okay. So I did make a mistake in the length, which is nice. Um, actually, this shouldn't be too hard. I could just pull this line every time I have it one longer. So I connect it to... middle which is right here and that's what I wanted to know and this makes up the circle right yeah okay that wasn't that hard and now I'll do the exact same over here just a pattern like this that way I have at least the outlines I think the outlines is already have to work just after that you don't have to think about stuff and But I might be at the point that I don't need to think anymore. Let's pull that line. Right over here. There we go. Perfect. Because this one connects well, that one connects well, this one connects well. So as long as these two connect well, I'm basically... And hi, look, how are you doing? Welcome. Um, yeah, if these two connect well, then I should basically be done with the line out for the first section. The second section is going to be a little bit different. Badly. No. I hope I can cheer you up a little bit with the stream. Or at least distract you from... Whatever is bothering you. There we go. I mean, you have exactly enough blocks. The line out is done. Alright, I used the MZ to quickly install Forge. Oh, wait, I already read that one. But that's neither here nor there. Exactly. Um, you might have missed it, but I got my second tattoo done. Let me give you a quick. Uh, There we go. And boop. There we go. That's my second tattoo. <laughs> what am I making? I am finishing the the iron golem build. This is an iron golem farm and I'm finishing the the tower. A bit. What on earth is that? You don't recognize them? You don't recognize the Depresso from Power World and the Eevee plushie that he's riding? <laughs> oh, that means I have to stream more Power Power just came out with a big update, so I might just do that. Some kind of off-brand Pokemon. You could... Some people uh, compare it to that. Pokemon with guns. There we go, eat some of the food. So we are gonna go to the mines, this time with an empty inventory. Yeah. And I understand why people call it an off-brand, but personally, I, I love Power World. It's a lot of fun. Um... No worries. Uh, books in here. I don't really have those. Over here, there. And then plants, it was in here, right? Yep. And then weaponry over here. There we go, we have an empty inventory. This is where we can go to the nether without a problem. I don't think I need the axe, but I'm just gonna take it just to be sure. You're thinking, ooh, a tattoo of cave stories. That could be fun. Definitely. 
in whoop. That's all still going. They can basically find my childhood ambitious, then like if it means a lot to you, then definitely do it. For me, that's why I have how to train your dragon tattoo. Because it means a lot to me and it now has it's even more meaning. Just want to say. Because it's also my couple tattoo with Ashi. And Pokemon always used to be my thing, and I just love the presso. I have been thinking about it and it might have a little bit of a meaning as well for me. But that's due to other stuff. There we go. And it's still one of the most important in the... Uh oh. That's the annoying part about mining in the nether. Oh! The area is bigger than I thought. Oh! We will turn around again. I'm just gonna put a block like this and a block over here. That way I can still get in and out. But it's clear that I blocked it for a reason. I probably should do that over here as well. That way I can still get in if I want to. But I clearly blocked it for a reason. Up oh, this way then. Never mind. Uh, maybe this one isn't that bad, however. It might just be that one block. Which it kind of looks like it is. Basalt. Interesting. Oh, this is music I haven't heard in Minecraft. Other than the 10 years anniversary, it came out December 2004. Ooh, that's always exciting. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm trying to think which game for me was a really a defining game when I actually started gaming and I think I me mean, that would have been Minecraft like that's when I actually started hardcore gaming before that I played for example Comet and Conquer um, Red Alert things like that but I didn't play it as seriously or game or flash games on the internet and things like that I did play a lot of RuneScape back in the day But not enough that I would say, okay, I was actually a hardcore gamer. Um, that, was, that started with Minecraft. That's when I actually started to play a lot of games. Always with the lava. Let's hope it's also one block. But only one way to find out. By digging around it. And it is. Just one block. I have performance mods, a multiplayer mod, so that you can play with friends without the server like Bedrock. Oh, there's a mod for that? That is interesting. I didn't even know that. Because most of the time I just make my own servers with uh, Java. Roughly enough items. Any more mods? Not that I can think of. No, sounds good. And there we go. We are getting a good amount. Let's see how much do we have now. Yeah, only four stacks. Because we're making a 3D object, we need a lot more. Yeah, 
It's the nether. What do you expect? Fair enough. But I was maybe expecting a little bit less. There we go. Changing the volume a little bit. The music is getting a little bit intense. Ooh, and I also have a fun game planned. I don't know if it's out yet. But I have a horror game that I'm going to play hopefully soon. If I have the finances for it. <laughs> um, a friend of mine sent it. I have seen TikToks about them. Damn, the music is getting intense. Um, oh, yeah, content warning also looks like fun. I might go for that one as well, but... Zoo Chaos. Or chaos. Basically, you're a zookeeper and half of the creatures are monsters or something like that. It is coming soon. Okay. It's not out yet. Well, content warning is out. I haven't seen any videos of it. I mean, I have seen uh, one or two videos here and there that are, you know, not bad looking. But they were just comedy things, like something funny happened, and that was about it. So I have no clue what that game is about. But I heard it was good, so I might also do that one. I've put more, of course, we have Terraria that I'm playing now. It was, again, not fast enough. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, uh, being hurt by laugh is always annoying. Okay, that was just a one-time piece of lava again. Which is interesting. Normally I find a lot of lava, but... Eh. With the other two routes, at least. So far, this cave is going pretty well. Too bad I haven't found any netherite yet. I wouldn't mind finding netherite. There we go. Just slowly keep on mining. That's for now all I can do. Well, all I can do. There's more I can do. I just need a lot of netherite for the finish, for the build. Probably after the stream, I'm gonna take a nap. Which will be nice because I need a nap. I'm tired. <laughs> I think it must be because of, well, the getting that to set and stuff like that, which. Um, the body is processing that, of course, because it's now healing. I can definitely feel it healing. Because it feels like I scrape my leg on the ground. Like if you get on a, in a small bike accident. You scrape your leg over asphalt. That's how it feels now. I always have one gigabyte of my storage to download. Curse Forge. And the normal uh, Minecraft launcher. Oh, you have to pack for me? Oh, thank you. Yeah, just turn it over and... I'll install it. I could install it right away. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out in a second. After you send it and it's downloaded and stuff. I'll check it out and... Maybe I can already use it. Because it's just a quick copy of it and then throw it in the... Throw the world in and boom, done. Boop. There we go, collect all those. We're getting a good amount. Boop. In... 
There we go. Lava. I, for some reason, am not quick enough with... That's bad, that's bad. I'm gonna die. Uh-oh, I'm dead. At least I ran far away enough for, you know, not my stuff to get into the lava. I really should make windows upstairs. I had a feeling it was nighttime, but you never know for sure until it's you're actually outside if it's nighttime or not. Oh, we also threw in the shade effect. Okay, sounds good. And hello, Pancake. Welcome, how are you today? Boop. Oh yeah, and I know about how long it will be till the tattoo is fixed. Um, it probably will be around the same as my first tattoo and about, like it's gonna be sore for three, four more days. Like that, I have to wear ex really loose clothing and things like that. And after that, I can wear a little bit of. Uh... You're gouda? How are you? I'm okay. I'm a little bit in pain, but I'm okay. I got stabbed a thousand times. That's what that's what I like to call it. I got stabbed a few thousand times. But I got my uh, second tattoo set today. We go place that there. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. That's that too. It's a depresso and an Eevee. <laughs> and that way, while I'll show this, I can pretty quickly continue to download. Download something in the background. That was really, really quick. Uh, let's see, it's a small map, so I guess makes sense. Curse. Yeah. Well, oh, that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The artist was really, really happy with it. Um, because he's specifically an anime artist. He likes um, doing art of animes and games and stuff like that. And he really wanted to make a Power World uh, tattoo because a lot of people don't want Power World for the simple fact that uh, the hardcore Pokemon fans don't like Power World. A lot of them don't like Power World. I'm not going to say that everybody doesn't like Power World. But there are a lot of people that don't like Power World due to how similar it is to Pokemon. Um, but he did want to showcase it. So I talked with him when I had my first... At well, when I had my first tattoo done, the suggestion was made. I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'm going to close down Minecraft, because the modpack is already done installing. I'm going to close down Minecraft, and I'm going to start up through the modpack this time. <laughs> I picked up all my stuff, right? Yeah, I picked up all my stuff. Uh, the only thing I need is, while it's starting up, I'm going to go back to Curse and open the local folder. Uh, here. Open folder. You're the only few on Twitch? That's fine. Twitch also has a weird way of counting viewers, so there might still be people there, but sometimes they do count them, sometimes they don't. It's the same with YouTube, even though I myself in, in my own stream, in the beginning I count because I but because I don't have interaction, I don't count anymore over time, things like that. Uh let's see. App data. Uh, let's see. Worlds, 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 worlds. Where's worlds? Version. Oh, it's now saves. Press enter to enable the narrator. No, thank you. Oh, yeah. I, st I still have to update my model. Change your feature trying to use require. I don't know what this is. I'm going to say yes. Load cosmetics. Oh, this makes it a... Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool, I'll be honest. Oh, preparing for world creation. Cancel. I need to first put the worlds in. Might be smart. Oh, 
I didn't want to copy. There we go. Why does Minecraft scratch? That is a good question why it's stretched. Oh, that's because it's small. I didn't full screen it yet. There we go. Because it, I now have the stretch setting on because you gave me that suggestion, which is a really good suggestion. Why does it say 96 mods? That is not 96 mods. That is odd. <laughs> Um, there we go. And I can just load in the world again. And because we didn't add any mods that, you know, get blocked. Things like that. Uh, let's see. Video. Wait, is it not? Oh, shader pack here. And this is shitty you installed. Your worlds are instant. Yes, it's nice. Ooh. Oh, the red U that I'm getting. That is nice. Oh, now I'm kind of curious because I haven't seen my own island and stuff like that with a shader. And I don't seem to have lag, which is nice. Okay, my phone is blowing up. I need to check something. Oh. Was it my sister? <laughs> I sent her a picture of the tattoo and she sent multiple messages in a row responding to them. Which, uh, yeah, I just needed to check to be sure. Because I always have a rule with everybody basically. Calling once means that you're just calling and if I can pick up, I will pick up, but if it's not, like if I'm working or something like that, I don't pick up. Calling twice is a huge thing. So if you call twice, that means it's an emergency and I pick up no matter what. Which my family knows. And Dashi knows as well. Which just makes it a little bit easier because that, you know, they don't have the app from, hey, it's important, pick up, and if I don't read the app, then. Things like that. Yeah, I threw in like um, five to six performance improvements because Java is not optimized. Let alone Mojang optimized in their own game. Exactly. <laughs> oh, like the, um, how do we call that again? Glares. And I really should take care of some of the lava here. Oh, I just realized it reflects on the pickaxe. Ooh. Oh, I'm in front of that. Wait. Yeah. That is cool. I never play with shaders. I really should, you know, start playing with shaders. It looks nice. Now I'm really curious about the world. Now it turns out that our whole house and stuff like that looks awful. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's pretty. Change your settings too. I'll probably do that later on. Because I, I need to slowly read into what does what. Uh oh. I'm loading for a long time. Oh! Oh, I love the clouds. Oh. I love it. It looks somewhat cartoony with the clouds, which I really, really like. Coloring is beautiful. Oh, and the cam broke again. I don't know why it does that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's fixing itself slowly. Or is this because of the... Oh. Wait, what's my GPU power at? Or GPU power at? Oh, wait, I think I might know what happens. Hold on. Because it's a new thing, I probably... Oh no, the FPS is limited. I stream at 60 FPS, so I'm just gonna put it at 70. That hopefully should fix already some stuff, and I'll load them to 10, I guess.
And let's hope that fixes the lag issues. And it does. Ooh, I feel like I can't look too far now, though. Hmm. I probably should change some shader stuff then, instead. View settings, get those back at 12. Get those back at 12. Apply. Or is it because of the frames? Do the frames already the frames already fixed it? That's good. Boop. Ooh. Yeah, this is nice. How are we on iron? 33 still. Oh. Probably something I need to do is make a chunk loader or something like that. I know there are a few ways of making chunk loaders. I just don't know them. We we'll need to look that up. I make a chunk loader over here. Now, depending on how big it is, is it only if it's only one chunk, then I need to build it in every place that I want chunk loader. It looks like a whole nother game. Yes, destroy the tree. Which one? There are no trees. <laughs> Can I get those off? Those tool tips. I know it's just for the three stuff and things like that. But... Um, I guess not. I'm gonna have that in my screen now forever. Now, when I go downstairs, I'll, you know, hit a tree. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, and thank you for doing this uh, forward. Before I forget to thank you, of course. You need to do the tutorial. Uh, tutorials are always so boring. Who does the tutorial nowadays? It's the same with reading a manual. Who reads manuals nowadays? Actually, I do when I build my IKEA stuff. <laughs> uh, which soon I'm gonna have to do. Um, because surprise, surprise, I'm going the 11th of April. I'm having a talk with uh, the Netherlands government. After that, oh, I'm making um, the building for the how do we call this guy again? The golden spawner. I'm making his building now for the iron farm. Like, it all works. He spawns sometimes. I don't know why he isn't spawning now. But when I was standing downstairs, he spawned from time to time. And that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, but yeah, the 11th of April, I have a talk with the government. The Netherlands government. And after that, I know what type of uh, route I'm going to go to go to Canada. If I'm either going to go on work visa, spousal support, or things like that. And it might be. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the iron farm. But now I'm just making the building of it itself. Like the. Make it look nice. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm working on now. Um, but, yeah, if everything goes well and fast, then it might probably be. That this year I'm going to Canada. Which is exciting. That also means that I'm going to take a small break of streaming, of course. Until have everything set up and everything is nice and cozy. I might stream at a different time because I'm in a whole different time zone. I'm mad. <laughs> okay, Waffle is broken. I don't know what's going on with Waffle. Uh, wait, how did I do that again? Options. Skin. All these need to be up for my skin. Because I still have an old skin. You miss all my streams? Well, I'm going to see when I'm going to stream. So I don't know which time or which dates and things like that. At least being that is true. Waffle is being direct now. Waffle right away tells you that uh, 
Waffle is mad. That's also why I need to rewrite Waffle. And... I'm gonna probably ask Rafael Plate to rewrite Waffle for me. Or at least help me rewrite Waffle. Oh, my ID doesn't work. No. <laughs> oh, I had such a good idea. I thought I'll make it a swear. Actually, I can still make it work. Right? Because that means I can just make the sphere to about here. Oops. That's fine. Um... When about am I planning to end the stream? About when I'm gonna be done with either this one or if I feel still like streaming after this. I'm also gonna make a bridge and after that I'm gonna call it a night. So I'm gonna say about another, at least another hour. At the very least. You know what? I'm gonna ask Rafelte right now. Uh, uh, there we go. I just asked Rafelte if she could help me rewrite Waffle. And hi, VR, welcome. What are you doing today? Boop, boop, boop. Oh, the sunset. I can't really see it because there's a giant chest in front of it, but... From what I could see, it looked nice. Wait, what is... Oh, wait, I know how to fix that. Because now I don't need this anymore, so now this is bigger. Fine, I'll punch three. Damn, it really wants me to punch a tree. Whee! Oh, we can also see the night time. The sunset. Which I always love the sunset. Dora won't leave me alone. No, it doesn't disappear. But I have a tree farm here, so I could just... There we go. Now I'm punching a tree. Boop. Tutorial done. There. I replaced the tree right away. And we go back home. Enjoy the night. It looks pretty. Oh. I need to change my sheet a little bit. I also need some Vaseline. I need to get some more Vaseline because of the uh, tattoo now. Because it needs to be really well hydrated, the tattoo. So I need to apply Vaseline multiple times a day. Things like that. Which I totally forgot to grab. But I still have a little bit laying around from last time. So I can grab that for today and tomorrow I'll go to the store. And yeah, that's about it. Wait, why did I not go to bed? I mean, I'm, I'm doing well. Uh, like usual, I'm sleepy, but... And my leg is irritated, but that's normal with a tattoo. Like, I would definitely compare it just with a scrape. Like, like I said, if, like if you fall off your bike, you have a scrape wound on your leg because you didn't wear pants. Like long pants. You, you did wear pants, but not long pants. Like those shorts. Like it would be feeling like something like that. Why does it not want to build up? There we go. And 
up we go. I probably... I forgot. It's not dark there. Oh, that's bad. That is bad, bad. Because if they explode, they can break the whole farm. Okay, that's one defused. Or I can lure them in the water. If they're in the water, they at least don't deal damage. Maybe I can. Please tell me they fall all the way down. Okay, they fell all the way down. Good, good, good. That means they might be on top. I really need to remove this part. There. Yeah, I don't need this anymore. The button still needs to be up here. Did I not pick up a button? Odd. Boop, 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 boop. Remove all this. Throw the mobs on spawn. It's also because now this is above, so mobs have a reason to spawn. I should also probably make a mob spawner. I think it would be funny to make a mob spawner out of an adamant because then you have a way to... Button is now burnt in the lava. Yes. RIP button. Which is weird. Because lava is... Sitting on top of signs. Wooden signs. But if I throw the wooden signs in, they do disappear. How does that work? Huh. Magic. Game logic. Call it how you want to call it. <laughs> um. So yeah, the basic idea of it will be like this. Over here. But I can't put it over here, so I'm gonna eat a little bit when that needs to be done, and I'll just place it here. It looks good enough. It doesn't need to look perfect, anyways. Oh. I didn't place that one right, did I? Wait, I did. Oh. Huh. That one I didn't place right. There. Game magic indeed. Which you can make a wooden button by making planks by finishing the tutorial. Oh, here. The recipe book can help. Did you know? Okay, I clicked on the recipe book. Oh, craft wooden plank. I didn't even read craft wooden planks. Boop to all. Everybody is booper. And then there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make struggle a little bit making this work right, but I'll somehow make it work. Okay, the max limit is over here. Which either is going to look okay, or it's going to look totally awful. Um. Yeah, up until here, they can still spawn. So that's fine. There we go. And now I just have to slowly finish all that. Because now I'm going to go out again, so it's okay again. And then I'm going in again, and it's not that okay. And then I'm going out again, and it's okay again. 
that's the basic gist of it. Um, yeah, I don't want it to be an open concept. So I might just draw the line right here. I think I'm, that, that's for the better. No worries, you're not bothering. But I hope you have a good day and a good night. I'll see you another time. Um. Oh. Yeah, that that is bound to happen a few times. But at least I have no room to pick up all these. There we go. There's probably a button to remove the tutorial. Because I don't have the tutorial most of the time. Yeah. I'll just grab these blocks and check it out afterwards. After I'm not being harassed by... Oh, I was already thinking, what is that in the water? But that's the reflection of the island over there. The junk where you spawn in the world is always loaded with ephemerite. Yes. And I, with commands, I can make that chunk bigger. But it is over there at the Red Desert. Which we can't see right now because my chunks are far enough. Let's see how high I can go without lagging. Now I'm kind of curious. Research pet? No, not research. There we go. Uh, video settings. I'm going to say 16 chunks now. Simulation distance at 20. Yeah, now we can see them. And I don't feel like my model is... Eh. No, it's not like that. Okay, the Red Desert over there I spawn, so I can't really increase the spawn to make it bigger, to look, make it look, you know, like something. Now, I am thinking maybe I should just You know, start doing this instead. <sighs> I have so many ideas on what I could use. The problem with them is, if I'm going to use this idea... Actually, this idea might work better. And have to rebuild everything again. <laughs> oh. But this might actually work out better. Because now it's the same out as over here. So I make this three. And then I'll start doing to do this. Yeah, this works out way better. Basically what I'm doing is I'm making a big circle. No, I have another idea. An easier idea. That way I don't have to remove everything. Because I'm going to make a Sauron's tower out of this anyways. A tower has a broad base. And then it goes... Uh, no, not a broad base. It has a pretty thin base. And then it has a broader place where the uh, things are standing. Ow. I need feather falling boots. I definitely need feather falling on my boots. Or I need an elytra. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go for that. I'm just gonna have that as a broad base. I'm not gonna make the circle. And then as soon as we're one block underneath that platform. We need a death counter for fall damage at this point. It's way too often. 
I can already tell you that's gonna be a high fall damage counter. I can make a death counter, however. Which, you know what, why not? Um, I just need to find a command for that. Do I need to be an, an OP for that? Like, do I need cheats enabled for those commands? I might. Um, I don't know the exact commands anymore. I know it's um, slash core board set. And Robo Cookie, hi, welcome. Wait, I don't need to be admin for that? I'm gonna look up the commands again. Um, that counter. Okay. Um, first, you need to ensure that you have a that you have cheats enabled in your Minecraft world. Okay, so I do need cheats enabled, which is not that hard. I just do that, and then it opens it. And hi, Robo Cookie. How are you doing today? Welcome. Um, open the window and type the following command. Slash scoreboard object at death counter. Death counter. Which is pretty easy, and I don't even need to type it because they already typed it. That is the death counter. And now I just need to enable it, which is this command. You can also go to options, statics, and see how many times you died. Yes. This way, now we have a counter. The counter is not on that much, that, that of a grade of a spot. Which I don't know if I can change. Um, what are my options? Uh, set display below name, list. I can give it a drop purple. But I don't want the sidebar. The sidebar looks a little bit... Oh. Okay, so sidebar is the only place I can do it. Sidebar. Let's do dark purple. Death. So now, theoretically, if I die... Wait, do I have all my stuff? It's going to be annoying if I lose all my stuff. I'm just gonna die once and see. After that, I can work with changing it so that um, I'm just gonna put it all in this chest. Then later on, I'll just change either the location of it or I'll change my own location. Oh, wait. Why, am I, why would I be working hard? I can just jump down here. In. I still have my armor on. I saw the armor icon and I was thinking, wait. That isn't right. I'm gonna be lazy, so I'm gonna do this. <laughs> nice and lazy. Oh, because I die in my house anyways, and as long as I die before five minutes, I'll be fine. One more. There we go. And it does work. Whiska, four to three. Died once. That way I don't have to press a button and keep it up. There. Now grab the stuff again. All the chest, this one. Fuck it. There we go. Now we got everything again. We are going through diamond pickaxes like it's nothing. Scaffolding. That also means that I can keep this up. Ow. More vibrations on my phone. Put this down. Oh, TikToks. Okay. It's funny. Um... 
my tattoo artist actually started following me on TikTok. I never uploaded on TikTok, but I actually found him on TikTok as well. Which is pretty funny because you can see Dashi's tattoo there and Ironically, the video where Dashi's tattoo is uh featured in did extremely well with 30k view with with 30 yeah, 30k views, which is insane. It is also a beautiful one. I broke something I wasn't supposed to break. Button. Button. It's also metacore again. There. Ugh, I keep breaking the stuff that I'm not supposed to break. Oh, this is going to be pain to make, however, now I think of it. No, like... We have built there. There. There we go. Okay. This is definitely going to be interesting how I'm going to do this. My skin is 5.7 years old. It is? How do you know that? I would love to. Well, you already figured it out for me. But. Yeah, I haven't changed my skin in a long time. Which I really, really should do. But originally, I never had actually a reason for it. But now that I'm streaming Minecraft, I do have a reason to change my skin. Whoop. And. Of course, the last one I placed wrong. I have a better build idea on how to build it easier. I'm just going to go to where it has to be. So that's about here. This is where the ground lane needs to be. So I'm going to place you here. There we go. Needs to be one lower. Actually, no, this works. This works. Right? Yeah, that's alignment with this, which is fine. Yeah. Okay. Now, all I need to do is just make these lines. Oop. Uh, this one doesn't need to be here. Four. Basically what I have to do is I have to redo what I did over there with that. That's it. So I can just do this. And yeah, keep going like this basically. Boop, boop. And that's fine because it will all go up. So it will go up from here as well. It just means I need to do this. Um, that will be there. So this one will be here. And it is. That way I have a little bit better of a reference. Just to make sure that it's all alright. Over. And then this is this going to be the base. I need to place on every single tile a button as well. Which is going to be a tiny bit of a pain in behind. Because I don't want golems to be able to spawn on here. Which I'm surprised golems haven't spawned. 
Is it because I'm too close to it? Or is there another reason that they don't spawn? Eh. I'll look into that later. Because they did spawn. So it, I know it does work. But I just might be too close. So I know if a player is too close, they don't spawn. But if a player is too far away, they don't spawn. There's always a sweet spot. And I fell down. Nice part about living about the, above the ocean. Most of the time when you fall down, you fall in the water. And up we go. I still need to craft an oak plank. Hold on. Options, options. It's going to be options or achievements. No, it's going to be an option. An ability settings, maybe auto jump, sneak hold. But you have a sneak hold, Ooh. so I can do that to toggle instead. I'm gonna call it on sneak hold, however. Okay, it's not on here, it's not in video setting. Well, that's nah, not gonna be a video settings, I think. To tall. Render, yeah. Oh, there's no tutorial stuff. Oh! It isn't tutorial stuff. There we go. A video stuff. Weird. Why would that be a video stuff? Yeah. We found it by stupid luck as well, because I wouldn't have read through that. So that was just stupid luck. I still need to fix it over there as well, make it look a little bit nicer. There we go. Pick this up. And up we go again. Uh, this is far spent. These two are not supposed to be here. Soon I'm going to have a bit of a tricky part, which I'll figure out how to do that once I'm there. Because I don't think we have overlap in that corner. Yeah, it's going to be exactly over here. I'm going to need a block... If I'm going to keep this design, I'm going to need a block right here. And a block right here. And then a block right here. So I basically need to shave off this corner. Which I can do. Now if I look at it. Because they will still flow like this. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. They might get a tiny bit stuck here, maybe? If they would hit the wall, because there's going to be a wall here. So they hit the wall. They get pushed. I could use a little bit of a smuggle and... Make these a little bit higher instead, and then... Have this weird corner poke out a little bit. This way they still will be pushed. So they push, they be pushed. They are big enough and then they get pushed down here and fall in. It will be like that, I guess. And it will most likely be on that corner as well. Supposed to place that one here. This one needs to be here. Uh, then one, two, one, two, three. And then we're almost at the middle, which is right here. 
Perfect. And there we go. Less again. And then we'll probably have the same at this corner. Yep. So the world's gonna go here. Here. We'll just do the same. I'll just place the blocks and oh, one more. So the nice part is this makes an automatic makes it automatically a infinite water source again. M models, oh, because I being a dumbass, <laughs> um, I have my leg up right now. And it apparently was in front of my mouth. So, yeah, my bad. <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting higher than here. This is one lower. And this one is the same height as this one. It needs to be one lower. How am I going to get that one lower? I need to jump down. Okay, here we go. There we go. I placed two blocks. Boop. Which is all that matters. Yeah, like, um... Those who know the meme about being by and stuff and not being able to sit straight. Yeah, that... That is true for me. Well, I'm done 10 now, but it kind of like 10 is more of an umbrella from by, I think it was. I don't know. But yeah, I cannot sit straight. I cannot sit like a normal human being. It just isn't comfortable. Sitting like a normal person, like sitting nicely straight in a chair, just does not feel comfortable. So I don't do it. <laughs> I said with my legs on a chair, like in, um, with my legs folded. Well, I can't do that right now due to the tattoo, but. Uh, sometimes I sit with my legs on the desk. Which I almost would say is acrobatic skills. Am I still in the right place? Let me pull one up. Should hit my head. Yep, I did. Okay, so they are in the right place. Yeah, I'll get them one later. And this is supposed to be the middle. You can also tell by that block over there. And I always sit on one of my legs or crossed. Yes, it's just so much more comfortable. And I don't even know why it is so much more comfortable, but it just is. Theory. Uh, we somehow got one block lower than we were supposed to be. <laughs> I know we were. Okay, that's interesting. Because where did I go one block low? Probably here then. No. What? Yes, over here I started going one block lower. Oh, and I know why. So I need to be one block... Oh no, I need to be one block lower. Because otherwise I don't align with that bottom part again. Okay, that's okay. Um, it's going to be a pain in my behind to fix. Now there are two ways of fixing it. But then I have to question myself. Um... Yeah, it, it can be one higher, so I can remove these. So that means I just have to redo this part and this part. 
Okay. We'll fix it like that. And yeah, then over here it's a little bit high, but we also have this shaft there, so it kind of makes sense. Oop. In. Oop. And I'm almost out of the diamond pickaxe. Four. There we go, that was the middle. That was supposed to be like this. There we go. Now we have that. And I fell down again. Which is okay. I'll just pick up the blocks that I dropped. That's the whole reason I fell down. So I don't run out of blocks. <laughs> there we go. I really have to remove this thing. But for now, I'm too lazy for it. My pickaxe song is broke anyways as well. And up we go again. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it today with just making this thing. Because this is still going to take about an hour. Maybe half an hour if I'm quick and don't make too much mistakes. But I know myself and I make a lot of mistakes. And I also probably need more netherite. And the worst part is I'm not going to be able to finish the whole thing today. Because I also wanted to make an eye on top. So it's the Tower of Sauron. Type of idea. There. I'm just waiting for the pickaxe to break by now. Boop, boop, boop. This pickaxe is holding. F it's holding on pretty well. There. Boop, boop. You need mending for diamonds, yes. But for that I need a crafting room and everything, and I still want to make that, but... Oh, I am not paying attention. I needed it here. So this one is still good, these two are wrong. I'm pretty impressed that it's not broken yet. Like, it has been fully depleted for a little bit now. But if I don't make any mistakes, my pickaxe will be fine. Which I'm gonna doubt, because I'm me and I make mistakes a lot of the time. This is one of them, so I need one. Right there. Press F3 and H. There we go. That was it. And now we can see. I have three ability left. So yeah, about three blocks. How much do I have with this one left? Also three durability. Look at that Um, but this is fun. So I can make three more mistakes. Oop. Two more mistakes. <laughs> 
Um, I'm going to sleep. And now Alt F4. Sure. I'll do Alt F4. <laughs> I did fall forward once. Um, and that was actually by Wiz. It was a pretty smart one. They said, uh, can you do Alt F1? And something actually happened, I think, because I technically I pressed F1. Then Alt F2, then Alt F3, then Alt F4, and Alt F5. And I did that, and I pressed Alt F5. Uh, Alt F4, I mean. And close the game. Are we still at 33? Why are they not spawning anymore? Wait! The buttons made it! How? How did the buttons make it? Even more magic! And for some reason my brain wasn't connecting that part with the Alt F4. And I do not know why my brain wasn't connecting it. Magic, don't question it exactly. Don't question the Minecraft deities. Oh uh, yeah, I'll do one color. That way it just sticks above this. Control alt delete. Ooh, the old way of starting up task manager. Nowadays I just use control shift escape. If I need task manager. Which is just a shortcut of Oh no. Okay, you know what? That's not the worst because I made this mistake a little bit later on. But still should all be good. I forgot I could only make two more mistakes. Uh oh. Here's some. Oh yeah, that's somebody from there. Is it that the villagers aren't scared anymore? Because they don't sound scared. Is there a reason that the villagers don't sound scared? They can break this with my hand. I just don't get the block, which is fine. Just two of them. Maybe I messed something up, making them not scared anymore. Oop. Right away, it gets so dark. Oh well. I'll check on the villages after I'm done building the surrounding. Break the glass so they can see each other. That works. Yeah, that, that's what I have. That's the thing. I should have that already. So I don't know why they are not scared now. And the thing is, the mob farm also worked for a little bit. But I don't think the village are scared anymore because I don't hear them, you know, panicking. Oh, but must some, probably something else be wrong. I'll check in a moment once I'm done building these few blocks. Oop. I need a light source in here. Maybe because I'm the savior. Yeah, the glass is broken. Hmm. They are all as far away as possible from him. Yeah, that one is definitely panicking as soon as they turn around. Interesting. Maybe it's because I'm too close to it. Even though I captured them. Yeah, and have them in constant fear of the lie. They never know if they will make it or not. I need another diamond pickaxe. I'm making more and more mistakes now. 
Boop. Boop. One, two. This is gonna be annoying. This is gonna be annoying way of build a annoying way of building. Or not. You know, one important thing, I need torches, otherwise mobs will spawn. Imagine they patch iron golden farm. Uh that would be really oh I love the rain in the game. It's it feels very really realistic. I don't know why it feels so realistic, but it does. Uh there we go, torches. I'm not gonna have enough torches, so I'm gonna grab some more. Grab three of you again. So I'm going to go for netherite for netherrack. Can't do that in the crossing table. Boop, boop, boop. 21 torches. Which will be enough for now. And up we go. And torch. Torch, torch. Buttons. Soon I probably also don't need torches here for the simple fact that I will have buttons on all of these things. There we go, out of netherrack. Well, that means we need to go to the nether then. But we are getting there. That looks like a tower. It definitely looks interesting. Uh, but most likely what the case is, or what I think the case is, is just because I'm too close. You have something too close and then things don't spawn, but you can also not be too far away. Which makes it that things also don't spawn. Up to the nether. That. There we go. Now we can just fall down without hitting our head every time and losing that bit momentum. If I There we go. That fixes that. That way I have to parkour a little bit less. That sounds like a pig man, I think. Oh, no, that's a pig lut. I don't know what he's doing in my tunnels, but he did not make it. Oh, that looks nice with how long this is. Quartz. I'm surprised we haven't found any netherite today. I've been mining a good amount of distance. The chair's tricky-ish. It's probably because of the leather stuff. Um... There we go. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> if only there was an easy way to make a netherite farm. Netherite farm. Because theoretically I should I could make a how do you call it again? A automated TNT, a flying machine TNT that just spawns an infinite TNT and drops down. But then it also destroys the block, so I 
don't have any use for that. That might be a good... Am I starting to talk Dutch now? That might be a good one for... Oh, that's going to be a big one. Uh, but how big is big? Okay, yep, that's not going to work. Okay, this will be a cancelled one as well. Which is okay. We'll just make another one a little bit earlier in the mine. So instead of where we are now, we're going to make one right here. There we go. And just for ease, for where we can't go further here. Piglin trades. Oh, Piglin trades might have been a good one. But they don't drop matter. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been a really good one. Otherwise. In. There. Slowly building away. Or mining away right now. We're not really building. I do think I get the tower off today, but... Yeah, that's what I'm going to keep it at. Because I feel myself getting sleepier and sleepier. Which is totally fine. I mean, the tower shouldn't last. It shouldn't take too long anymore. Because it's now just placing those last few blocks that make the tower on the... From the bottom side up. And then we're done. And yeah, then that most likely will be it. You get a message from Rafelte. Oh, cool. Um, wait. Uh, let me send it to her right now. Open AI settings. Uh, let's see. Um, this is what I have now. Um, rewrite it so... Not always. And now for the secret part. There we go. And now I'm curious if we felt that we'll be able to rewrite that before today. Which is totally fine if she doesn't, you know, isn't if she isn't available to do that before the stream ends. Because then it means just that I have it tomorrow instead. Which I have no clue what I'm going to stream tomorrow. Um... That is also a good question. I would love to stream one of the new games. But I saw specifically content one. Maybe I can rally up some friends for content warning. Because right now that's pretty popular. Ooh, netherite.
But I don't know which of my friends have it. Only one? Yep, only one. Which okay, that means that we have... Now four. Four blocks, so I need, still need to melt them. And then get those things, and then I need to make the ingots. So that means I have one full ingot, and almost now two ingots. So I have seven, and I needed four for each ingot, I think it was. Something like that. Boop, 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 boop. And we'll just keep on mining, keep on mining. How much do we have? I would say we have a pretty good amount. Is this going to be enough? It might just be enough. I'm going to go for a little bit more. Let's say 10 more deep. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Till here. Guessing like this. So it will be about 40 more blocks. Wait, is it 40? No, that's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's about 100 more blocks. Just 10 deep. No, 12. So 120, so almost two stacks. Because I didn't count these two. That actually goes pretty quickly for 120 blocks. Oh. Picklin. Picklins are nice. As long as you, you know, don't hurt them. Okay, it's a lot nicer without the lava. The overworld? I don't think it's night time. I think it's going to be near night time again. Oh! Well, hello. <laughs> that was a face full. Face full of Piglin. Oh, it is fully night time. Oh, I love how these um, speaker comments look like. They give that beautiful glow, which is nice. And up we go. Okay, that was weird. Um, but that's also fine. Up we go, and we're going to place the last parts of the netherrack, hopefully. I hope I don't have to go back to the nether. I'm going to move you for now. Just have an easier way up. Oh! Okay, I see what went wrong. I'm going to spawn there. <laughs> That's why I need those buttons. So yeah, they still do spawn... There. It is actually kind of nice having the golem there now. Because that way I don't have to bother with it. Uh, that, that way I don't have to bother with mobs, I mean. Oh, wait. 
Okay, he is still stuck. So that means that it needs to be one more like this. And now he can fall down. Okay. That's at least good to know. Oh, look at him there. Slowly breaking. Oh, uh, well, I can't use that as a jump up anymore. I can do that here. Oops. Okay, at least we know the farm is still working. It most likely is just a, um, like I said, a case of me being too close. Yep, there you go. Wait, that means I'm not too close. I don't know why they didn't spawn earlier and now they do spawn. Boop. Might actually be easier if I just do it like this. Probably shouldn't have those broken. Eh, I'll remove them afterwards. Game broke? Wait, what? Oh, wait, the game broke with... Yeah, okay. <laughs> the spawning of the iron golems. Oh. Let's go. Hi, Mario. Thank you for the hat bats. <laughs> How are you doing today? Three, four. Ugh. Place the pickaxe there. A little bit easier. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, well. Like I said, I'll remove all those later. Doing a little better than yesterday. How am I doing? I'm doing well. Um, I'm going to say what I've been saying this whole stream. I got stabbed over a thousand times. In real life. Because <laughs> um, I got my tattoos done. My second tattoo. There we go. Oh. Are there any extra blocks here? Yes. Right here and right here. Oh damn. <laughs> it um Yeah, it, it it wasn't as bad for me. Like my tattoo artist and I also spoke about it of course and I have really nice skin for tattooing. First of all my my skin really absorbed the ink really well. So the color ink just goes in and boom, done. And uh, furthermore, I also have really soft skin, which helps with tattooing because that just makes it that he can just go over it once and done most of the time. Well, with Dash, who has really rough skin and really hard skin, he needs to go over it two, three times. And, uh, yeah. That she needs to suffer. So I can have my iron. Wait, this isn't right. Oop. It's supposed to be three. I still need one here. There we go. No, I'm a good pepper. 
That'll make people suffer. Wait, no, it is five. Oops. I'm always nice to people. Or at least try to be. Uh-oh. Uh, grab you. Place you here, I guess. Let's make him get another tattoo. Oh, he wants another tattoo. He's good and get another tattoo as well. Uh, most likely, I also at some point might get another tattoo. But for now, I won't. Because for now, I don't really have a reason for a tattoo. I was thinking about a tattoo for from Ress's paw. Okay, it really was because I was too close to where the Iron Golem spawned. And now I'm not. And it felt good. There we go. We get more and more iron. Uh, let's see. Let's make me get thousand tattoos. Uh, I mean... To be fair, my tattoo artist said that he probably would love to do a sleeve on me. So basically my whole arm or my whole leg. Things like that. All gaming related, of course. I probably would do the most furry thing ever. <laughs> and add a paw print. Uh, but for me, it's not specifically about the furry fandom at that point. For me, it's more like I want a paw print of my own dog. But, yeah, that, that's something I'm thinking about, and if I want it, how I'm going to do that, things like that. Yeah, we need a popcorn too. <laughs> Keep in mind, anybody who sees it will think you're a furry, or will know if you are a furry. Which I'm okay with. I also want to pursue it at some point. <laughs> And it is so nice that the iron goats are spawning. Because now I don't feel like, oh, okay, maybe I did something wrong. I know, okay, I did it right. I just needed time. There we go. I mean, I guess you could always make the excuse and say, oh, yeah, that's my dog's problem. So, I mean... You're not a furry. You're a neko lol. I'm a doggo. Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, you are right. My model is more neko, but I am also a furry. On the side. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't have the full outfit to be a furry. Who knows? That might change. <laughs> um, I have... I'm not going to say that I'm going to get a full fur... Re PRM. But I have something in the make well not in the making. I have um something lore wise that might be interesting. Now I'm not saying it's related to it, but it might be. Or might not be. Maybe I'm just teasing you guys right now. As long as it isn't on paper and in my lore file, then never nobody knows. Legend suit fluffy. Furry whisker. I want to see a furry whisker. I can actually show you a furry whisker. Um, I had this one made not too long ago, but let's see where it is. I have it in a different folder. I shouldn't put in that folder. Because then I won't find it. Uh, streaming. Oh, the files. Big, big. 
There we go. There. I probably have it look a little bit more feminine next time, but for the first rest, you don't like it. I need to leave that rest in because. Sorry, buddy. But yeah, like those are the, that's the idea a little bit behind Furry Whisker. <laughs> but who knows? But now I want to see a Furry Whisker VR. That's my new future model? No. I don't have the money for that. Technically, I do have a 3D furry for VR chat, uh, which I made on a base myself. Like uh, basically, you buy a base of a furry model, and then you change everything that you want to change and things like that, which I did. And I made both one for me and for Dashi, which is pretty cool because Dashi is a Fox deer. Uh, and for me, a duck, and I was able to make all that with one base. I still want to make a small few changes on Dashi's one. So I'm not happy with the tail because the tail is standing out. Because his whole model is purple, but the tail I couldn't for some reason change the color on the deer tail. So I'm still working on that. We're going to cut it close with the netherrack. I'm also some kind of fox. That's totally okay. <laughs> Foxes are cute. Ooh, I might just not make it. I am definitely gonna cut it close. If you can be a furry in a game, you always make foxes. Fair enough. Oh. There. I did it wrong. I'm gonna do it for now. It's been a long time since I've been so close to the villages and such. Uh oh. Oop. I love the Canadian marble fox. Basically a husky cat but fox. Ooh. I need to Google that. That sounds amazing. I could go that after I place these last few blocks. I'm gonna be just short. How many short? Let's count. Two, four, five blocks short. Ugh. Canadian marble fox. Image. Oh, that's so cute. I'll I'll show it on stream as well. Save image. Go. There we go. The Canadian... Oh, that's really, really small. There we go. The Canadian Marble Fox. Now that I'm thinking, I should make a furry skin on Minecraft. Well, same. <laughs> oh, and because I haven't shown you yet, Mario. Um, this... Oh. Is my just show shaved leg. It doesn't look amazing because it's pretty bloody. Well, I have some blood spots, but that's it. But this is my tattoo that I got today. A depresso with an Eevee. <laughs> Whee! Oh, I feel that. It looks cute, that tattoo. I love it. The artist outdone himself. Which my, which my artist is really nice. Like, um, 
Yeah, for those who know Kohai, it's basically Kohai. He has Kohai energy. <laughs> like when Kohai is streaming. I need to energetic, fun, uh, hyperactive. Which is really funny to have that as a tattoo artist. Oh, and really, really open. Like, um... Deshi and I made a few um, 18 plus jokes when we were with him. But he loves those type of jokes. I think the first one was right, Kawai. Oh, Kohai! Oh, Kohai, yeah. Um, I think your last one, how you wrote it, was right. Let me see, I sub to him anyways. I subbed, um, follow him. But, yeah, he's a fellow dog VTuber. There. And hydrate, of course I'll hydrate. There, also for the YouTube chat. Let's go, I. He's also gonna be my best man at the wedding. And for the simple reason that he's the one that got me drunk. <laughs> okay. There we go. No, um, the original plans were my friends didn't know if they were able to come. Like uh, Rafael, Tay, and Mimi. Because it was pretty. The original plans were pretty short, like, I would have gotten married in August. But... The last one was right, yes. Uh, we cancelled the wedding for August, and we're gonna do it in next year. July. Uh, but yeah, I already asked Koa if he wanted to be my best man. Wait, I'm Wiska423. On Minecraft, yes. I still have to change that. Um, I think Wiska was already taken. I don't know. But yeah, Wiska423 is a reference of a really, really old username of mine that actually uses my real name. I'm not going to tell. <laughs> But I don't know why 423. It just came to me and boom, it always works. There we go. Now we're just gonna have to do the last bit. But look at that iron. Now we're getting iron pretty fast. And you know what? I have enough scaffolding. I'm gonna break this one. Oh, I should have kept that one. There's still holes. I forgot. Oh. Oop. I saw. You saw my name. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Most of them I just don't say it out loud because it feels so weird. I know that I accidentally shown my name in two streams ago. Which I was thinking, should I remove it? But I'm like, why would I? But why don't you use Whisker VT like your Twitch? Something. I'll probably do that, yeah. Why are you crying? Rest. Oh, you're looking outside. Rest loves looking outside out the window. Boop, boop. There we go. And there we go. The farm is done. At least all the bones are there. Like later on, I might decorate it, but we'll have to see. Now the farm seems to work somewhat well if I'm in the right place. I'm gonna go look for a while. I'm gonna end stream soon. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun catching up with you, Mario. There we go. I need these for later on for when I'm building over here. 
I have one more project that I can quickly do. Go bad. I will. After this project. <laughs> and that is now that I finally have the iron, I can fix the chest again. Ooh, that's shiny. Oop. Let's see if I have enough iron. 11 iron should be enough. Um... I forgot how it was. I know it's on the right side of here, and then definitely here. And I think it was two up, one down. Or three. That, and then this, I thought it was. Looks about right. Where's a chest? I have a chest in the chest room. Single chest. Oh no, it's lower. It's one, two, three low. No, two low. One middle, one top. Interesting. I thought it was the other way around. That is really interesting. Because I thought these schematics that I used were also... And then... Oh. Through here. Yeah, that also looks right. Like, it lo both, both look right, to be honest. Uh, but yeah. Okay, that means we also fixed the chest. About time. I'm gonna throw the iron that I now have in here. So that I at least have some iron in there. And with that, I am gonna call it a night. Let me boop. In boop. And then I go to here and add stream settings. First of all, thank you for it for making the mod pack for me. That helps so much gonna make it so much easier um for now i am gonna call it a night i'll be back tomorrow with some fun games <laughs> um yeah with that i hope everybody has a beautiful day and a beautiful night of course my camera stops working <laughs> okay there we go uh yeah have a beautiful day have a beautiful night i'll be back tomorrow See y'all then. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.